yo, yo, <clears throat> yo, 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 it's your boy, Pope Plains, aka Lovely, back again with another motherfucking video, you feel me? Today, we're gonna be talking about this Dodie, this Dodie, you feel me? Big game. Right now, I'm smoking peak runs, you feel me? That, like, I like the, the all the, the runs and shit, like, White runs, all that. But, like, for some reason, I get burnt out on that shit real quick. But the only runs I really didn't, don't get burnt out on is that, like, the pink candy and the pink runs. You feel me? Like, the other shit, I get burnt out on, on that shit. And, and th like, three, four blunts rolled in. And then I'm d I don't want to smoke it no more. I want to smoke something else type shit. Like, I'm already done with the, the flavor type shit. I don't know. But out of my life, me smoking and shit. Only like, I had like, let me see, one, two, three, four. I had maybe six, like, out of body, like, not out of, I had like a few out of body experiences, but like, we, they, they had a side effect to it, like, they, they had a, you know what I'm saying? Not a bad side effect, but a good side effect to it, type shit, you feel me? And that's when, motherfucker, this is before. All that run shit came out. That's why I think some of this motherfucking weed that they be cloning and shit is like they 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 spraying shit on it like it ain't. You know what I'm saying? They they fucking with the the, the uh, compounds and shit that's in the weed and shit. You feel me? They fucking with that shit like you know what I'm saying? It, I don't think that shit's like all the way real weed. You feel me? Shit, cloning and shit. Too much that shit cloned. You feel me? The peak game, nigga. Today we're gonna be talking about when I smoke that moon rock shit. You feel me? So peep game. My cousin Damo. You know what I'm saying? Well, I be coaching with this shit on the on the football, my little football team and shit. This nigga, he had lived all the way out from the people that, that from the city, he moved out all the way out J Town and shit, you feel me? And that's like we call that type. J all that out that area, Newburgh, J Town, we call it New the Newburgh niggas and shit, you feel me? But the niggas out there be getting money and shit. So I had at the at the time I, I had the weed booming real real you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of weed and shit at the time and shit. So I had went out there like I'm gonna go out there kick it with my cause he, he lived so far, a whole lot of motherfuckers didn't go out there and fuck with him and shit. And me being me always fucking with little cuz I'm like, I'm at least go out there and fuck with him a few times, you feel me? So I goes out this motherfucker. I'm like, I can get a few motherfucking serves or something. You know? So me and this nigga walks to the, you know what I'm saying, walking around. When I get out there trying to find a few serves, da da da. Found a few. So then on my way back, it was this little white, it was this white dude or whatever. He was like, he was cool with my cousin. Like he said, dude, it just moved her or whatever, right? So, I'm mean, asking him, do he fuck with the weed and shit? Dude was like, yeah. So, I end up, we end up smoking with him and shit. He was, you know what I'm saying? We end up chopping up game and shit. He was telling us about it, about himself and all that. And he said he be fucking with the powder and shit, too. Because he was like, he, basically, he said he was from uh, uh, Flint, Michigan. He's from Flint, Michigan. And the nigga said that he came down to Louisville, Kentucky, because they got, like, a lot of warehouse jobs and shit. They ain't got a lot of jobs up there in Michigan, you feel me? So he said he came down here, and he said he, he works in a warehouse, so he was like, he be needing that, that powder and shit to keep him up because he worked on his shit. So I'm like, cool, I'll be having that shit too, so peep game. The more I got to serve him and shit, get cool with him and shit, he was like, he asked me one time, they don't want to come out there and smoke with him and shit. After I, I, like, I served him, then I was, he asked me if I want to match him. I'm like, I serve him some power. He was like, you want to match him? I'm like, yeah. Because usually when I serve my fucking, when I used to serve my fucking weed, I didn't match him. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't really, I don't like doing that. You feel me? That's like me selling you a blunt, then you getting a free blunt. I don't do all that shit. So, this nigga was like, he had some moon rock. Now, I, a, a whole lot of motherfuckers in the city and shit was like, like, nah, motherfuckers I fuck with was like, they had moon 
King Rock, I done seen the little shit they had, but it's like, and it looked like it, smelled like it, tastes good and everything, but when you, when you like roll that shit up in a blunt or you put it in the bong or something, that shit, like, it won't stay lit like it was wet or something, you feel me, like, I don't know, like, the shit never stay lit, so I'm like, niggas must be making this shit, you feel me, but this nigga, when I was looking at his shit, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you feel me, so, the nigga ends up rolling some of this shit up, I take some hits of his shit, right, the first hit, I'm like, me being me, I'm, I don't know, like, even when I was first hit that little, the uh, pen shit, motherfuckers like, don't hit it too, too hard, you feel me, because it's going to be a lot, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get choked up, but that's just me, I be trying to get as much as smoke in my lungs as I can, you feel me, so I can taste that shit, yeah, man, I did that shit, y'all, first time I'm, you feel me, choking a little bit, I'm like, yeah, this is good, shit tastes good, choke me out, like, I'm telling you, like, it was lightweight choking me out, though, you feel me, but I'm like, all right, I'm good past the blunt. I'm still choking. By the time the blunt got back to me, everybody's choking at this time, but by the time the blunt got back to me, I'm still choking off the fucking first hit, that, the first little, three little puffs I took and passed the blunt. You know what I'm saying? So I hit the shit again. I passed the shit. I'm coughing and shit, and I'm like, damn, I ain't going to lie. Like, I ain't never threw up all weed or none of that, but when I was coughing, it kind of felt like that I was ready to throw up and shit. So I hurry up and like I went to the bathroom and shit, and I was ready like I ain't want like if I did throw up I ain't want them niggas to see this shit. But I was just spitting and shit for real for real like it didn't make me like throw up. I like kind of held that shit in. So I goes back out there. Since then they asked me do I want to hit it again, but it felt like. Like, I'm, my tolerance for pills and shit is low. Like, I don't even pop pills no more. I used to do that shit back in my teenage years, and I stopped doing that shit. But, you know what I'm saying? It don't make, like, it, it stops you from getting a lot of money and shit. You feel me? And I like money better. So, if I, like, pop the whole bar, like, I'm gone. Like, it, I wouldn't see, you wouldn't see me for a day or two type of shit. I'm sleeping for a day and a half, two, almost two days. When I smoked this shit, it felt like I popped, like, two fucking bars off of, all together, maybe six hits, you feel me? I didn't smoke a whole lot of weed before. I didn't smoke out of bone before. I didn't smoke a hundred blunts before, like a hundred fat ass blunts, gas, gelato. You feel me? And that shit didn't match up to this little hit that I took off this fucking moon rock to bro hit. And ever since I did that shit, like, it's that and that and them dabs. Like, it's the same thing happened when I first did that dab shit. Me? I'm gonna tell y'all a story about that, but yeah, man. Y'all get in them comments, you feel me? Let me know what y'all think, you feel me? Y'all first time smoking moon rocks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe, you feel me? If y'all new to the channel, you feel me? If y'all, I'm, I'm gonna have more content. Y'all tell me what type of content y'all like, you feel me? Feel free. Comment right, you feel me? I know I be having a lot of haters and shit, but I don't give a fuck what motherfuckers be saying. All up with you, you feel me? I'm reporting news and I'm giving stories and shit about my life, you feel me? I'm reporting news that I heard about, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Salute to everybody that's smoking gas, throw away that trash, you feel me? Oh, my bad, won't be smoking that couch, you feel me? So, like I said, man, hit that like, subscribe, that notification bell, you feel me? It's your boy, Poe Plains, aka Lovely. Excuse me, that was my first time smoking that Moon Rocks. I liked it, but no sis. Like, I can't fuck with it again, you feel me? Like, it's, it's too much of a hat for me, you feel me? I don't know about y'all. Other people like it. I don't, you feel me? I, I ain't saying like I don't. I, it's too high for me, like, you feel me? It's one of them where you back go to sleep or something, you feel me? Smoke this shit, then go sleep, you know what I'm saying? It's one of them happening. But yeah, man. All love, big love, baby.